I love men in general, they're great, I love them. But I really love foreign men, right? Foreign men, because it's always a surprise. <laughs> you never know what they're gonna do or say, what's gonna happen next. It's like a foreign film. <laughs> so I was married to a Japanese man and we used to run around Tokyo, downtown Tokyo, well, you know, everywhere's downtown there. Uh, you run around Tokyo because he was studying to be a ninja and we'd walk through the streets <laughs> like this. As if we were invisible. And then uh, later when I moved to San Francisco and after I was divorced from the ninja, I, uh, I dated a guy from Nicaragua. Yeah, my mother used to say, uh, the boy from Nicaragua. <laughs> I love that. Nicaragua. <laughs> First I was like, what? <laughs> then it made sense, Nicaragua. <laughs> so, uh, he was great because he had been a refugee uh, from uh, El Salvador. He was a Sandinista. Yeah, he lived in the jungles teaching kids how to read. Oh, yeah, he fulfilled all my fantasies. You know, I read Che Guevara's diary when I was in high school, and I'm like, finally! I went with a revolutionary. We'd go to the zoo, though, and he'd say, like, we'd go to the monkey place. I love monkeys, by the way. What's that? I don't know. That was just an aside. I love monkeys. But he'd look at the monkeys and go, oh, have you ever had monkey? Good, it's tasty, right? I love monkeys, but not in that way. And then we'd go over to the uh, aviary and he'd go, oh, that parrot, have you ever had parrot? It's really tasty. Over a fire pit, mm, nice. And then we'd go, to the, we'd go to the reptile house, you know where I'm going. Oh, boas, so good. Kind of bony. <laughs> I mean, going to the zoo with him was like going to Food for Less. <laughs> he was fabulous, I tell ya.